Hey folks, this is Jack and Deb Stone of Top Shelf Ministries and we're uh, doing our very first uh, Facebook Live We're going to call today. it Live at Five, Keeping Up with the Stoneses. That's right. You've heard of <laughs> Keeping Up with the Joneses. Uh, we're going to keep up with the Stoneses. Uh, hey, we'll re read your comments here in a little while. We're going to do a few songs for you today just to kind of change the atmosphere of what's going on in the world today. Let us know if you're watching so we can see and yeah. say hi later. Yeah, we want to know who's watching us. And, and uh, like I say, we'll uh, look at all the comments later on tonight. If you have and, prayer requests, right. put them down. Yeah. We'd love to pray for oh, you. Oh, goodness, yeah. Matter of fact, we had one today. I had a young man. Uh, sent me a message, uh, and he wanted us to remember a young lady. Uh, there, her name was Rebecca White in Abilene, and she's uh, quarantined. In and the she's hospital. quarantined for fourteen days in the hospital, and and uh, she's on oxygen. Oh my! And she I just tell you what, needs Deb, a touch. We just need to bombard heaven. Hey, but we're going to get started with some music, and uh, I pray that it'll be uh, something that'll touch your heart and your life. Uh, and not hurt your ears. And hurt. <laughs> hey, but every day is a good day when God is on your side. <laughs> what tomorrow holds, but I know who holds my hand. Many things in this life I never understand. It will be okay, it will be alright. The fountain is deep and wide. Every day is a good day. God is on your side. Every day is a good day when God is on your side. Every day is a good day when you let Jesus guide. Just trust in Him. He'll be your friend. In Him you must abide. Every day is a good day when God is on your side. Oh, and I believe that today, that we've got God on our side. He's watching after you and I today. Amen. Oh, but I like this uh, second verse. I'll tell you a little bit about this song in a little bit. Oh, listen. Don't worry. Don't be burdened down with fear. Let Jesus have your problems. Let him wipe away your tears. Just give it all to Jesus. He knows how hard you've tried. Every day is a good day when God is on your side. Every day is a good day when God is on your side. Every day is a good day when you let Jesus guide. Just trust in Him. He'll be your friend. In Him you must abide. Every day is a good day. God is on your side. Every day is a good day when God is on your side. Amen and amen. That I, made me want a two-step. I know. Uh, <laughs> uh, we had a, uh, you can tell them the story. Some of them never heard this story about the church we were at. A gentleman was sitting about three-fourths of the way back, and we started singing this song. And he was by himself, and he jumped up out of his pew, and he went to the back. He wasn't running, but he nearly was. I was afraid that we'd offended him, but we hadn't. We looked out the, the glass doors into their foyer, and that gentleman was back there in the foyer all, all by himself. himself. And he was two-stepping this way, and he two-stepped back that way. He two-stepped through that entire, entire song. song. 
He came up to me afterward and apologized. He said he wanted to quit, but his feet wouldn't let him. <laughs> that's exactly right. So that's a, a start to every day's a good day. And listen, uh, uh, the man that wrote this song is from actually from Mangum, Oklahoma. Uh, it's the late Daryl McClendon. Daryl passed uh, a few years ago, and he had sent me this song and asked me, hey, would you like to record some songs of mine? And sure enough, I had a couple of them that he sent us, and we recorded it. And uh, But I got an email one day from him, and he said, Jack, uh, they tell me I have stage 4 cancer. And he said, but I have to say this, and boy, this touched my heart. He said, every day is still a good day when God's on your side. Don't you and, think it's about an attitude? Oh, I'm sure it is. I, yeah. I, I believe that. With I think a, he went to heaven with a smile on his Oh, face. I can guarantee he He did. might have been two-stepping. <laughs> <laughs> he might have been the one two-stepping there. So, hey, listen, we're going to do another song because without God, you and I haven't got a prayer. Amen. <laughs> Do I need to get my amen sign out? <laughs> yeah. Our daughter Misty singing with us on this one. Sun's gone down and the night's closing in. I'm sitting here all alone trying to figure out why. Life seems so unfair Lord, this world is too heavy for one man to hold And I feel like it's spinning out of control Where would I go? If I didn't have you, whose name would I call? When I need to escape, you're my hiding place. You're my shelter from despair. Without you, I haven't got a friend. Folks, let me remind you, he said, call unto me and I'll answer thee. There have been times when everything I touched seemed like it turned to gold. Started believing I could make it all on my own. I've seen fortunes fade away and turn to dust. If there's one thing I've learned, it's in God I will trust. Where would I go? Who would I turn to? Tell me if I didn't have you. Whose name would I call? You're my hiding place You're my shelter from despair Without you I haven't got a friend Oh, thank you, Lord When I need to escape You're my hiding place you're my shelter from despair Without you I haven't got a friend Without you Without you. Without you. 
Amen. I tell you what, I'm thankful that we can go to the Lord and pray any time we need to. And I know we are living in a time and a day and an age that people are praying, people are calling upon God. And I want to ask you that are watching today, be praying for the pastors of America because uh, many of them are going to pre be preaching to chairs. And, well, but I, thank God for live stream. Amen. But I, I, I have to share this right now. I know our daughter, Micah, called me. We were talking to her on the phone. It was either yesterday or the day before. And she made a statement that really hit home to me. And she wanted me to share it with her dad. And I feel like sharing it with you folks. She said, Mom, I know that you and Dad love ministry and you love to minister to people. And we do. Yeah. That's what we've done all of our kids' lives for sure. But she said, Mama, being a minister is like shepherding a flock. Even when Jack and I are out you know, evangelizing like we do, right. we're basically a shepherd on, on the road. But she said, Mom, not only do you feed the flock, but you have to protect your flock. That's I was it. telling my brother that statement today, and you know what he told me? Uh -huh. He said, a shepherd don't herd a sheep into a building to give them a disease. Oh, that's right. Isn't that something? That's right. And we, we and just want, we want you folks to know that we love y'all. It's not that we're not wanting to get out there, but you know, our children, our three kids, we love you guys. And they were worried about their old mama and daddy. And I appreciate that. that old part. <laughs> and I appreciate that so much. But you know something? We're doing what we know God wants us to do. Hey, this is the way we've got to do it for a while. And, and thanks and to our daughter-in-law. Yeah, Stephanie. We Thank appreciate you, Stephanie, you for picking. helping us. Because, like I say, this is our first time to go live. And <laughs> hey, we, we don't know what we're we doing. <laughs> we don't. But, but we, hey, but we do make a joyful noise. Uh, and if you're facing something today, right. I want you to listen to the words of this next song. Absolutely. That's too big to solve. Stop looking at man. Start looking to God. I know for certain. Not a thing you can do, and there's not a mountain that you can't tunnel through. This is why I've not seen a mountain. God cannot move. I've not seen a problem. Oh, is this? He won't carry you through. Just call on the master. Watch what he'll do for you. Cause I've not seen a mountain that God cannot move. I don't know your problem. Trials you face. I love this part. I don't know God's will, but I know God's grace. So 
just keep on climbing. Oh, listen. By faith, I understand. If he's not moved that mountain, oh, listen now. Believe that he can. I've not seen a mountain that God cannot move. I've not seen a problem. He won't. Just call on the master and watch what he'll do for you. Cause I've not seen a mountain that God cannot. Say to that mountain, be thou removed, cast in the sea, and it shall be done. Now Jack's fixing to get ready. Not yet. We're going to do one more. Oh, we are? Yeah, we're going well, to do one more. we're going to hold them a little bit longer than what we have. Yeah, well, on. and listen, folks, we want you to, we're, we call it Live at Five and Keeping Up with the Stones is, uh, I don't know if Live at Five is a good time for you. I know you can catch it probably any time, but listen, we appreciate you uh, uh tuning in and watching us today. We're going to do one more song, and I just want to share a, a, a brief uh, word with you. Uh, as you know, as you can see there on the screen there, there is a place. We are a nonprofit organization. We have our 501c3, and I know things are tight right now, but listen, if you feel led, that's all I'm asking you, if you feel led to support our ministry, we deeply appreciate it. And thank you for the pastor that told me about uh, uh, the cash app. He told me about a, a cash app, and I appreciate him doing that. The folks up over in uh, Plainview that uh, blessed us with a, a generous offering this week. And, you know, thank you. and we just appreciate because I'm going to tell you something without God, you and I have nothing. Uh, we're, well, it's all his anyway. It's his anyway. And uh, we're going to do this course. Uh, and then I just want to share a brief word. I, I told my wife I was going to tell you like Elizabeth Taylor told all of her eight husbands, uh, we're not going to keep you long. <laughs> <laughs> so, But listen to this last song. And then we're going to share just a few scriptures with you today. And thank you again for tuning in. God bless you. Hope y'all are feeling the presence of the Lord like Amen. we are. <laughs> oh, listen to this. Without him I can do nothing. Without him I could do nothing. Without him I surely fail. Without him Like a ship without a sail. Jesus, Lord Jesus, do you know him today? Do not turn him.
Without him, how lost I would be. Oh, I'm glad he picked me up out of that miry clay, planted my feet on a solid rock, because he is the Lord. Amen. Sing it again. Without him, I could do nothing. Without him, I surely fail. Without him, I would be drifting like a ship without a sail. Turn him away, oh Jesus, my Jesus. Without him, how lost I would be. Oh, we're going to sing that chorus. Turn him away, oh Jesus, my Jesus. Without him, how lost I would be. Without him, how lost I would be. I visited with some folks this morning and uh, I tell you what uh, uh, one young lady told me she said I, I, I get to panicking you know and I know that pastors and, and evangelists for the last especially uh, the last week have preached on faith and and you know the Lord showed me something m many many years ago God already knows the need uh, he already knows about this virus, and I'm not even going to mention it because we've heard too much of it. <laughs> you already have. That. And but uh, I will just call it that virus. Uh, and I tell you what, uh, they he preached knows. on faith. They preached on uh, 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 fear because perfect love casteth out all fear. But I have been telling churches for the last, actually, Deb and I will begin our thirteenth year mm -hmm. this August in full time ministry. And I tell well, churches, well, traveling ministry, traveling ministry <laughs> right. Uh, uh, but what I tell them is, already, God already knows uh, the need out there. Yeah. He knows what you're facing. Absolutely. He just wants to see our faith. Yes, He does. And uh, faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the Word of God. Hey, listen. And then I, when He sees our faith, He shows us His glory. Yeah, yeah that's what I want to share with you today is because... I'm going to uh, let Him preach a little bit. Well, and I'm just going to share, okay? I don't know. Uh, the, the Bible says in the book of 2 Timothy, the third chapter, and we've all read it. You've all, I've, I've preached it probably many, many times. This know also that in the last days perilous time shall come. And I went to, you know, if you can't find anything, you just Google it, okay? And here's what the definition means. Expose to imminent risk of disaster or ruin. And I'm here to tell you today, those that are tuning in and those that are going to catch this later, I'm going to, we're going to pray. And we're believing God. And I, it's just like Deb said, what we're looking at is uh, they've been preaching on faith. They've been preaching on uh, getting rid of that fear. And if you're out there and you're panicking and you're fearful, uh, 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 again, 
God has not given you a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. And I want you to know today that God is for us. And if God be for us, who can be against us? Uh, and uh, we are living in perilous times. And when I looked at that word perilous, I also thought, man, we're living in an uncertain times, uncertain days. And, and I'm telling you, folks, I believe the body of Christ that the power of the Holy Spirit is pulling the church is churches together and God wants us to see his glory uh, I looked at uh, Exodus 33 this morning the verse uh, about verse 18 it said Moses said Lord show us show us your glory and I can tell you Deb and I have seen so much we've experienced the last especially the last 13 years We've seen the glory of God uh, minister to people's hearts and people's lives. And I want you to, again, I want you to, uh, this is all I'm going to share with you today, but don't give up. Don't be panicking. Don't be fearful because uh, God is on your side. And the greatest decision that you and I can ever make is where we plan to spend eternity. And if you've never received Christ into your life, I pray today, God, let that let this broadcast reach out to whoever it is yes. that needs Jesus because Absolutely. it's not about Jack and Deb. Nope. It's not about any pastor, any church. It's about Jesus That's Christ. Right. Uh, hey, right. if you have a prayer request, we're going to be praying. Uh, we're going to be uh, believing God uh, with you. And uh, hey, God bless you today. We're next gonna, Saturday. Next Saturday at 5 p.m. Live, live at, at 5. five with, keeping up with, with the, the stones. stones. Let me close in prayer. Father, Thank you for allowing us to do this broadcast across the airwaves. And Lord, we thank you those for those who have, are involved uh, uh, for helping us get it set up. And we're just pray, praying, God, that you bless people uh, even in this hour. Uh, even, your word even said, even in famine, there'll be more than enough. Yes. And I thank you today that we as, as the people of God can stand on your word and we're trusting you to see us through. We rebuke this virus in the name of the Lord of hosts, and we claim the blood of Jesus. We claim the name of Jesus, which is above every name. And that, that, that virus has got to go in the name of the Lord of hosts, and we give you praise for it in Jesus' name. Continue to show us your glory. Amen. Amen. Hey, God bless you today. Y'all have a great uh, rest of the week. Uh, Hey, be sure and wash your hands. <laughs> God bless you today. Bye-bye.